guys, are you here? And today I'm bringing you some Disc Priest because I read the comments in all of my other videos and a lot of you guys, when I mentioned my Disc Priest, seem to want some Disc Priest. So here it is. Here's some Disc Priest. I want to talk about some terminology I'm going to use real quick. Um, death in previous expansions was called Shadow or Death, but now it's called Premonition. It essentially does the same thing. It'll do damage to you. So if I'm saying I'm going to death a sheep or death a blind, it means I'm going to Premonition it, um, which means that you're basically gonna take um, some damage to yourself a second or two after you hit the ability that breaks any CC that would break on damage. So if you're, if you're sheep, it breaks on damage. If you do Premonition, then you get sheeped, um, then it's gonna break on damage. <clears throat> I also want to talk about, just quickly, um, Disc Priest, you have Shield, you have Penance, you have Shadow Mend, um, and you have Radiance. Radiance is a big AoE heal. It heals anyone with Atonement on them, or heals them more with Atonement. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's your general healing... Um, like kit i guess you could say and then every time we do setups i try to i'm going to try to fear but at the same time i'm going to try to avoid um cc from the rogue and the mage as much as possible so here we're fighting my good friend whiz k x rogue um pieces and flopsy the boys and uh, i'm playing with pig boy here and slippy slippy is a good rank one rogue back from kata and he plays demon hunter now so there i tried to death myself um in the opener i actually i'll just rewind that so i death right here um because i'm not in combat yet and i want to try to death the sap um because i can't get in combat for another second or two so i death on myself and then i dispel the druid to get into combat we were gonna open druid here i've kind of had a failed opener so you don't really you never really want to sap druid and then sap something else and then not open druid right because then the sap dr is on the druid still and you can't really go um i death there because i was trying to predict a blind or something i just fear the rogue we um so the, the cross you see um, is kind of like the same thing as when I'm on my mage. We try to fear one guy, blind another, and go on the third. Um, it happens to be that we, the rogue trinketed the fear, and the mage trinketed the cheap shot. So we got two trinkets from that ghost. That's not too bad. I'm sitting a full blind here. Let's see if they can follow it. I actually have a mind bender out, so we can't sap it because I will be in combat. Um, just throwing shields up on my partners, doing some damage to this mage, trying to maybe uh, get an ice block here, but his temp shield does heal him back up. Um, throw a, a shield onto my rogue, trying to get a clarity or two, grip him because the Vendetta. Vendetta is a huge assassination um, rogue cooldown. So we're playing an assassination rogue, not a sub rogue. So whenever that Vendetta is up, we're going to have to pop a lot of defensives in order to live. So I grip him out of line of sight. I get full sheeped and have no way out of this. My rogue does a great job of surviving. He pops cloak, he pops evasion. Um, I throw a shield on him. Line of sight's a little awkward there. Throw a penance on him, trying to line aside as best as I can, get dragon's breath into a half sheep. My rogue is a little over or a little under half HP now, so still a little worried for him. Pop pain suppression. I can throw a radiance on him, throw some big heals, throw a shield on him, throw a penance on him, and he should be okay now. Um pushing out just a little bit, or empty that cyclone. Um, popping some more heals, pushing it just a little bit to dispel that polymorph on pig boy. Um, healing up our rogue some more. Trying to line sight these clones as best I can, but he got that vortex down, which sucked me back in, and he actually got that clone. So very nice um, vortex cyclone by Flopsy there. Um, rogue is still taking a lot of heat. I fear what I can. Probably not the best fear there, but I just fear the rogue. We cheap shot to the druid. If I sold fear, I could fear off of that. It looks like my mage isn't able to ring. Um, he does land a full sheep though, and we're doing some pretty impressive damage here to this mage, but he does get iron barked. Dragon's breath goes out on me. I'm trying to avoid the polymorph as best as I can. Line of sight the polymorph there. Tossing some heals up on the slippy. Uh, a little overhealing him a little bit. This rogue's in trouble. Dispel the polymorph from pig boy. By the way, my targeting is scroll up and scroll down on my priest. If I scroll up, it targets pig boy. If I scroll down, it targets slippy. If I press my mouse button, it targets myself. So I can quickly swap between all three targets without having to click them. Um, so I can, you know, constantly be moving. So I'm kind of just playing at a range. Um, by the way, this is one of the first times I've played discs since Mop or something, uh, since season 12. So yeah, like many, many, many years. It's the first time I've played in many years. So I know, <laughs> I know I'm a little rusty. I know I'm a little rusty. I'm not the greatest priest in the world. But anyway, I'm sitting a full sheep here. Druid's full sheeped. I get re-sheeped here. And I tell my partners, stop the stop the uh, third sheep here so they 
end up actually kicking the third sheep, which means my sheep's about to expire, which means they want to set up more CC. So I just go ahead and press premonition and death the blind from the vanished rogue. Um, let's go back and just play that in full time. I'm sheep tier, the rogue vanishes, there's no resheep, I death, he blinds me, death blind. Fairly simple there, once you kind of know what's what's happening and what's going on. Um, just healing up my rogue some more, that seems like they really are tunneling down my rogue this game. I put down a barrier and trying to line aside the best I can. I used my death there, but the, the sheep wasn't actually on me, so I kind of wasted my death. Um, it's only, what, 12 second cooldown though, so it's not too big of a deal. Trying to avoid CC as much as I can by playing max distance. I do have fear available. I shrink it full fear the druid, and we have a, should have some type of decent setup here, but we're kind of just catching up um, <laughs> since we've been so far behind. But look at this, the mage has no trinket, the druid has no trinket, the rogue has no trinket for, for a little bit longer. So we're kind of like, okay, this isn't too, too bad here. Um, just doing some more damage here to the rogue. By the way, when you do damage, it heals people with atonement. Um, so doing damage is pretty beneficial for healing as well when you're playing a Dis Priest. I do get free sheep though, it's very bad on me. The rogue is so, so, so low and he does go down. Pretty awesome game there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously, the highlight, here's the, uh, the breakdown if you guys want to see the damage done and stuff. Um, obviously, the Death and Blind is pretty awesome, and just the game in general, the Rogue Mage Mirrors are pretty fun as well. Even though they're playing Fire Sass, we're playing Frost Sub, so we're way cooler. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that game. Let me know down below if you actually like this priest or if you're like, no, Zar, you stop. Never upload, never touch a priest again. Just stick to your frost mage, man. Um, or I, I've been playing, actually, I have a lot of footage as Arcane. He's been playing a lot of Arcane recently, which has been a blast as well. So let me know if you guys want some more Arcane, more frost, more disc, more shadow. I can pretty much, you know, those are the things that I like right now. I can pretty much do it all. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, but anyways, thumbs the video up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't. Like I said, let me know in the comments below. Talk to me a little bit. Let me know what you want to see. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.